All right. 1.99. A car travels 55 miles per hour and travels 15 kilometers per liter of gasoline. How many gallons of gasoline are needed for a 1.5 hour trip? Holy cow, Batman. That's a whole lot of numbers. I'm having a little panic, but then I remember. Can I identify any of these as a unit conversion? Yes, I can. Um, chemistry cat to the rescue. Miles per hour, right? So 55 miles equals one hour. Then kilometers per liter. So I know that. 15 kilometers equals one liter. That leaves me 1.5 hours as the only number that's not involved in a unit conversion. So I know I'm gonna start my line with it. So I'm starting my ratio chain with my 1.5. Well, I have hours up here. No idea how I'm going to solve this problem in the long run, but I know that if I have hours here, I'm going to have to place hours down here. Then, what do I know about hours? I know the relationship to miles. The problem tells me. It tells me one hour is 55 miles. So I've gotten rid of hours. And I've gotten to miles. All right, I don't want miles though. So I'm gonna place miles where they cancel out. Well, what do I know about miles that would do me some good? Well, I don't see anything else up there that involves a distance other than 15 kilometers. So I need a relationship that would let me go from miles to kilometers. You can get there by clicking the little question mark box in your homework program and they'll give you a table of conversions. I don't have that table of conversions, so I'm going to ask my Google Assistant. Kilometers to miles. One kilometer and it's going to tell me that six to one, miles. one kilometer is 0 0.621 miles. And you can get that from that little table in your book, or you can get it from Google, which is where I just got it from. All right. So now we've canceled out our miles, and we have units of kilometers. I don't want kilometers, but I already know something about kilometers. I know the relationship to liters. And hey, I'm wanting volume, right? I'm wanting gallons. So I'm getting closer by the minute. I know that 15 kilometers is equal to one liter based on what the problem told me. So I've now canceled out my kilometers and I have liters. I don't want liters. I want gallons. So I have to find a relationship between gallons and liters. Um, what is the relationship between gallons and liters? And again, thanks to Google, I find that one gallon. And again, you can find it in your homework using the little question mark arrow to get that drop box. One gallon is 3.785 liters. So one gallon, 3.785 liters. So now I've got liters to cancel out. I have units of gallons, which is what I'm looking for. So I must be done. So I punch everything on top, multiply everything on top, divide through by everything on the bottom. And that gives me 1.5 times 55 divided by 0 0.621 divided by 15 divided by 
785. And that gives me a calculator line, 2.3399426 gallons. That's my calculator lie. If I look at my problem, I have two sig figs there. I have two sig figs there. I have two sig figs there. All I'm doing is multiplying and dividing. So my answer can only have two sig figs. So it's going to be 2.3 gallons as my answer. That's it.